Hi Stampers, my name is Jill Olson and it's my 30th anniversary this month with Stampin' Up! Welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm going to show you a really fun stamp set called Signs of Santa and these great gable boxes. They come in a package of 12 for $8 and this is like, uh, it has a shimmer to it, this white one does, and they also come in silver. I'm going to show you some fun things and how to use these today. So I'm using the Signs of Santa and I've actually used these two stamps in the project that I'm making and the framelits to go with them so you can actually cut those out with your framelits. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. I'm going to first start, the box looks like this, it's already pre-scored, but I'm going to go ahead and cut off the top right here, just the handle on both sides of this box because we're not going to use the handle for this one that I'm actually going to show you. We're going to run it through the Big Shot with a folder. This folder right here is called Swirls and Curls. I love it. It makes a great impression. And you're going to go ahead and put this, and you're going to line up the folder right here with this line on your score line because you don't need the bottom of the box to actually have the image. You just need the top part. So I already went through and ran it through my Big Shot and so you notice there's the positive pop poking out on one side and going on in on the other side. It doesn't really matter um, the way that it looks because we're going to put it together like this. I'll just go ahead and show you. So it's already scored and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on these flaps because I'm not going to use the flaps. I'm actually going to kind of make a little, oh what do they call these boxes? It's like the old-fashioned toolbox that they use in the olden days that are kind of made out of wood. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. So I'm going to fold this down right here and I'm just going to stick it to the actual um, gable box on the side. And it's still scored even though it's gone through the big shot. Normally I would use an adhesive that would stick down better, but for just for the video I'm just going to show you. And I'm going to take those little things out. So then you want to go ahead and put the rest of the box together too. I'm going to put all these sides in. And you notice it's flat on the bottom so it doesn't matter. You don't have to have that image on the bottom at all. Okay, so there's our little toolbox. Now we need to uh, stick to go across and I'm just using a straw cut at five and a half inches, okay? And so what you want to do is take a hole punch right here at the top and then go ahead and make a round spot for it to fit in and I kind of make it smaller than the actual spot that you need so it will go through and stay there. So I'm going to go ahead and take the top of the slit and just kind of punch out a little bit further all the way around it but not too big. Okay so now I'm going to stick this in and if you need to make a couple more hole punches for it to fit that's fine too. Okay so there is our toolbox just plain. Now I want to show you how I'm going to decorate it. With the signs of Santa I'm going to go ahead and stamp um, this little, I love this little Santa right here. And I'm going to use my blends, my Stampin' Blends and the Memento ink on my stamp. And it, oh it's such a nice crisp black and I'm going to go ahead and take, it's called the light petal pink and you can look at it on the side, it's like a skin color. So I'm going to go ahead and do his hands. I mean he could be wearing gloves too and then just his face and his ears, don't forget his ears. And then I'm going to make him have rosy cheeks and a rosy nose and this is with the light flirty flamingo blends and then I'm going to use a dark, um, you can use the light or the dark on this, and this this is the pool party blends, and it looks kind of dark right here, but it will once you get all the colors on there, it kind of gives you a shadow. So I'm doing the shadow in his beard, and we're actually using the pool party cardstock too in the actual project, so it will all blend in. Okay, so we've got the shadows in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and use some of this color. This is the Dark Daffodil Delight for his little belt buckle. And then the Poppy Parade is a great color to use for this bright 
Santa. And I'm going to use the, the Poppy Parade ribbon too and cardstock. Everything, that's the wonderful thing about Stampin' Up! Everything coordinates. If you get our cardstock and our DSP, everything coordinates. And so right with this one, I could go ahead and blend in another color if I wanted to or go back and make darker right around here around the edge so it makes him look more dimensional. You can do it however you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and do his little hat. And don't forget if you have the Stampin' Blends, you want to get the eraser pen too, this clear one right here. And if you get out of the lines, you can always erase it with that. Actually, it's called the Color Lifter and it will take the color off. Okay, so we've got that stamped. I went ahead and already cut it out, so we've got it right here. It's already been dried. And I went ahead and punched a circle punch and then this, what is this, pennant punch, I guess I call it. Put this on here, and I went ahead and used dimensionals. So I popped him up, and then I'm going to go ahead and just put the dimensionals halfway up because I want the circle to only come halfway up on the actual toolbox. Put this about right here okay and then press that down and then I want to go ahead and use this poppy parade ribbon which is perfect look look how that matches and that's that amazing so I went ahead and already tied the knot but let me show you how to go ahead and get this edge you're gonna take your ribbon and you're gonna fold it onto itself and you'll get the perfect ribbon edge if you fold it onto itself and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it like this and that's perfect on both sides every time. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and take my Poppy Parade knotted ribbon right here and go ahead and stick a couple of glue dots on it, put it right underneath that. Just press that down and voila, you've got a little toolbox that you can put anything in. Right here I have one that I did up the same exact thing, but I used the Mrs. Claus and went ahead and did the Stampin' Blends too. Put a little bit of shreddies in here with some candies. Let me show you some other ones that I stamped up. This one right here is done with the Copper Shimmer Paint. and We just spritzed it on here using the alcohol um, and just spritzed it in our spritzers. So that's one for Thanksgiving. You can put some goodies in that. Here's one for Halloween. We went ahead and spritzed this with just alcohol and the Gorgeous Grape reinker, and just it gave it like a little sponged look. And then here's one that's just thank you. Just wrap it around with DSP and you've got another look that is fun. Here's another one. Now this is the silver one. I went ahead instead of running through the Big Shot, all I did was you know just cut that off and then use this for birthdays and you can put some fun things you can put a gift card in here would be fun and a couple little gifts in there would be cute so anyway hope you've enjoyed learning how to use these gable boxes in a different way and subscribe to our youtube channel if you want to get some more ideas from us hope you have a happy stamping day see you next time on watch it weekly wednesday